All right, let's get right into it. <clears throat> City Boy Nasty with the Thrifty Hippo. Found this ancient something DVD. Probably sell it for like 20 bucks. Stephen King books, hardcovers, always grab them. PC, PC games. I don't know, grabbed it because it was like a dollar. Right here, I dropped this in there and broke it, but it should still sell. Eh, maybe, maybe not, who knows. Right here, <clears throat> found them in a pile. I started pulling them out and I felt them and I was like, oh, this material is just so nice. And then I looked on the tag and I was like, yep. LL Bean, 2X tall, all long sleeves. And then right here, pulled this out. Nice embroidered, you know, the Big Chief, Blackhawks. Mm. And this next thing I'm keeping for myself, it's a Chicago Bulls hat. It's pretty nice. I just, I like the, how it looks, so. I'm just gonna keep it, but I could get like 20 bucks if I did sell it, you know. Right here is a older LL Bean long sleeve. I'm on an older tag, really nice. Right here, I actually just sold this for 20 bucks. I'll put the comps up right there. It's a Reebok, Cincinnati Bengals, maybe next year, right? <laughs> uh, Colorado State, like I said, uh, we're in Colorado. So we're gonna find a bunch of Colorado stuff. And that was on a champion tag, so it's a definite grab, even though it's stained. Right here, <clears throat> I saw this and I was like, whoa, this is not old, but I pulled it out and I was like, oh, Tony Bradshaw, boom, 50 bucks. Hopefully we can sell it. And then again, I saw this, snatched it up. Precious moments, 50 bucks. This was just sitting there. It's not good, but it's Patagonia. So you always grab Patagonia. Yeah, brand whore, you know. Um, right here, just a cool design. So I grabbed it, Flying Dog. Right here, we're in Colorado. Antigua on tag, so it's gotta be old. I've never heard about it. So maybe somebody will snatch it up for this baseball season. Right here is a Sanchez, Mark Sanchez, I think. I don't know, I might give that to my buddy. I might sell it, who knows. Right here is Chicago Bears flag. I'm definitely giving that to one of my buddies whenever I see him again. And I think coming up, got some Star Wars, uh, Star Wars shirts that we're all gonna bundle them up together. It's just a lot, probably for 20. They're all like the same size as well, I think. Right here is, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm just gonna try it out. It's an Abercrombie and Fitch small. I don't know, maybe sells, maybe doesn't. Who knows, it's really cheap. Right here, I pulled it out and I was like, no way, North Face, nice. Pulled this one out, I was like, oh, big old Indian, weird. I thought, my girlfriend thought it was messed up and I was like, no, 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 that's how it's supposed to be. And then uh, pulled this bad boy out and I was like, ooh, a Kooji sweater. And I was like, nah, protege, protege, you know. Found these Adidas, <laughs> Adidas, <laughs> can't even say it, Adidas golf shorts. They were really light, so, I mean, I had to grab them. Anything with a good embroidery, a good brand on it, I'm just gonna snatch it up. Like these two, Realtree, 2XL. I know it's about to be springtime, but somewhere it's cold, so somebody might buy it, you know, who knows. And, you know, I'm not buying it to sell it right now, I'm buying it to sell it in a few yeah. months. But we'll sell this stuff, I know. It's already, we've already made, made some money off this, so. But right here, huh, some Nike things. Like I said, I'm always gonna grab it. And uh, Van Halen, I mean, it's not an old tag, but <clears throat> I grabbed it, you know. You just gotta grab it and try some stuff out when you're starting off. Roll right here, Bake Off, Orlando, 1998. So that's uh, 25 years old. Might have some value. Oh, right here's a American Legend Mickey Mouse blanket. All right, this next part, we're gonna move into the uh, just a normal Goodwill store. I'm gonna go look at some shirts right now. And I apologize for the camera angle. But right here I found this. I thought it was a vintage Nike Air shirt. So I grabbed it, looked it up afterwards, and decided to put it back. Couldn't find that good of a comp, and they were asking like six bucks for it. These shirts are outrageous. This one right here, I don't know if you can actually see it, because this video is not the best. I recorded it on my phone. They want nine bucks for an old Pad Padres uh, jersey. I should have bought it, but they were asking nine bucks for it, so I couldn't pull the trigger. I am a cheap ass when it comes to this type of stuff, so. so yeah, we're just gonna go through some shirts, hopefully. All right, this one is cool, I should have grabbed it, but it was on American Apparel, I don't know, how about reselling those, you know? Cause I think people just, can go to the store and just buy those as they want, right? Oh well, eh, 
Just look at some shirts and if you see anything dope, leave it in the comments. Right there, come across this Ice Cube shirt. I probably should have grabbed it. Can't remember what tag it was or if it was a brand or like a mo more modern one, but I should have grabbed it. Hey, it's another highlight. Green Bay Packer on the Jazzers tag. Broncos on a got that nutmeg on a Lee Sport. Look like he's doing the running man and you got that old bird russell colorado rock All right, this last part, I'm just gonna walk around the shoe section because I can see everybody getting really nice shoes and I, I can never find really good shoes ever. And they're always so expensive whenever I go try to find them. Um, but if you see anything, that'd be cool if you pointed it out. But like, I know my camera works not the best. I'll try to do better in the future. But there's a few things, I mean, they all just look like really bad. I mean, the video doesn't really show how bad these shoes actually are. And, like, every single price on these shoes is, like, $10 and above. I mean, it might be a pair under, but, like, it's crazy. There's no value for, for me to even try. I feel like it's a ripoff, you know? I don't know. All right, so we spent about $20 at the bins and then probably $20 more at the actual Goodwill. I hope you liked what we found, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe, all that, you know, good stuff. 
We're going to end the video with some food like we always do. A little Mexican spot. Oh, shit, camera. Work. There we go. She got like a breakfast burrito or something. Can't remember. I got a bomb ass chicken sandwich. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching another episode of the Thrifty Hippo. This is your boy Nasty signing off. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And leave us a thumbs up. We'll make you some more videos. And as always, stay nasty and you'll find dope shit.